Chapter. We are inside the new Reefmobile <laughs> in my garage with only one little light on which will go out in a few minutes. And I want to show you if I can, if this camera is good enough, what this sucker looks like at night. It's really, I really can't focus in too well with this damn camera. I'm just too close. Okay, this is the uh, dashboard. When you first get in the car and you don't turn the key on, you get nothing. Now watch what happens when you turn the key on. Get all these little displays and stuff lighting up. <laughs> really neat. If there was two people here, it'd be better because I could sit in the back and then focus in the front. In fact, let me put the air on. This is really, oof, really hot in here. There's a rainstorm going out right, going on right now, and um, it's kind of rough. It's very, very muggy inside this uh, garage. Let's see how out of focus. Maybe, maybe if I go to macro. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see if I can get this. Uh, you ready? Let's see what happens here. Probably can't read that, can you? There you go. Isn't that neat? Let me try that again. This is a, uh, a little thing called, uh, you hit a button called System Recall and it tells you all these things about the car in different colors. Hope the colors are coming out at least. Isn't that cool? There you go. And what else do we have here? Um, oh, I had the lights on. <laughs> okay, this is the gas tank over here. And we have the usual three buttons. We have uh, oil pressure, temperature, and the voltage. Okay. I'm in macro. I hope this is coming out okay. This is the miles per hour. This is a tack. See if I can focus in on that. That's a tachometer. And that's all we have here. See this thing on the... Let me see if... I can't even get closer because the steering wheel is in the way. Okay, right now I have the trip odometer on. see. Hang on, Eric here. This button should change it to just, yeah, mileage. I don't even know how well it's coming out. I really didn't plan this thing too well. <laughs> but anyway, all right. As soon as the uh, lights go off, we're going to, um, I'm going to turn on the outside lights and show you what this dashboard looks like. It's really, really neat. Like, then I will, I will get in the back seat. And when we have total darkness in here, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. It's really neat. Let's see if I can turn the radio on. The radio is kind of nice because um, it's going to macro. There we go. You see, it's 307 p.m. This has a lot of neat little things on it. It's got a uh, thing there for the volume. It looks like it's almost coming in. There we go, the light went off with too much light here. This is, of course, a typical LED readout. And you have little things like, this is the balance left to right. And as you change it, the arrow moves. And over, you also have a fade from front to rear. See the fade, there's front, still focus. And there's rear as you change the buttons. Kind of cool. Then of course you have your uh, usual stations and stuff. Let's see. You have like five presets for AM and five for FM. LD means loudness, in case you're wondering. Okay, now the garage lights went off, and I want you to see what this cockpit looks like when you turn the parking lights and headlights on. You ready for this? It's really, I can only get part of it. It's really fantastic. I only get part of it because I'm so close with the camera. Huh, can you see that? <laughs> You'll see this in person pretty soon, of course, but uh, it's really spectacular to see all these lights. There's even lights in the steering wheel. All right, let me go in the back seat, make a jump cut, and we'll show you what this looks like from the back seat. And we'll test the one Lux capability that my camera does not have. Here we go. Here. I don't know why, something's going crazy in this car. There, can you see any of that at all? 
Hold on one second. This thing work, I don't know. But this is what this cock cockpit looks like at night from the inside of the car. I mean, this is really, really nice. And I don't think this camera's picking up a whole lot of it, unfortunately, because it's really spectacular. The only light I have in the garage is from the little window I have in the garage. Here's the radio controls. As you can see, everything's lit up in nice, bright orange LEDs. Zip back a little bit here. Has an equal built-in equalizer right there. You can see the little numbers on there. This might be coming out better than I think it usually does. Okay, and there are just the radio controls and stuff. Over here is the, uh, the usual stuff, the heater, the air conditioner, and all that. Right now I have the, uh, the air on. Actually, I have nothing on according to what it says. The, heat the heater LED is red, and the rest are all like uh, an amber. Up here is just some other stuff. English or metric, you can make it either kilometers or miles. Uh, odometer, trip reset, system recall, you saw rear defroster on or off. Now on the steering wheel, there are remote lights and remote controls for the radio, which are right there, which I'm sure you can't even see. Okay. Um, what else? There's the miles per hour over there. Here's the tack, which is being blocked by the steering wheel. And over here we have some an operational warning system, which is things like, you know, fasten your seatbelt, you know, service the engine soon if something's wrong with the engine, that kind of stuff. But this is really quite a display. And if you're in person, it'll look a lot better. <laughs> okay. I said, there's your gas gauge. This is the only car I've seen yet that has both idiot lights and gauges. There's the oil pressure, temperature, and the volts. 